Hello, Scott Thomas here with Stewardship Matters. My first car. I purchased it while in high school. I funded it with mowing grass and washing cars. And the first advice my father gave me about having this car was to always be sure I had oil in it and that the tires were properly inflated. When it comes to cash management, many nonprofits and for profits are running low on oil or their tires aren't properly inflated on their cash management vehicles. Three decades ago, when I started helping individuals and businesses with financial matters, I found that cash management was really done well and it paid off well because rates on cash were approaching or exceeding double digits. In the past decade, rates have dropped significantly and so cash management and not paying attention can still be costly, but it's in multiple ways, not just the rate on the money. Have you ever noticed that when the federal funds rates go up, there's a delay in passing that on to the rates for cash management accounts. And when rates go down, immediately that reduction's realized. It kind of reminds me about um, gas prices. You know, a barrel of gas, uh, when it goes up, it gets passed on to the pump. And when it goes down, that's what happens. Have you noticed that banks and financial institutions are holding back on sometimes on their best rates unless you're willing to give up something like information control or buy something from them? Understandably, because cash returns for financial firms is a huge part of their profits. And to offer better, better rates is taking money out of their pocket. Have you heard that more than 500 plus banks went bankrupt in the last 10 years? And more than 10% of these failures were large national banks, according to the FDIC website. Do you know what happens to excess corporate cash in a traditional bank account when it's above $250,000 of protection and the bank fails? Have you considered a linked account fully insured all the way up to 75 million per account? This is true daily cash program. Maybe you need to explore around at some other banks and maybe you want to check out bankrate.com. It's a quick online resource that can uncover some rate differences. Does your firm utilize cash treasury management portfolio? And if so, have you recently reviewed any outside advisor to review internal and external cost fees and what you're actually netting? A reminder that U.S. treasuries are not daily cash and not FDIC. However, they are backed by the full faith of the U.S. government with these treasuries. So um, they also fluctuate in value up and down as opposed to an FDIC insured daily cash, which does not fluctuate in value. So as of November the 12th, um, the FDC, FDIC rate on this uh, $75 million cash program is 1.55%. If you'd like to learn more, you could reach out to me, scott at stewardshipmatters.net. That's scott at stewardshipmatters.net.